Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be going through my favorite Funko Pops. So let's get started. Alright, so before we get into this, um, it's kind of like 10 figures I pulled up here. I pulled up some of my favorites here. Um, these are ones that I tried to differentiate it from the last video that we did because I did one of these maybe a year or two ago, um, and I wanted to make them different um, so that way we'd have more fun stuff. And that plus, there's been so many figures that have come out since this video, so I pretty much had a new list anyways. Um, we're going to be going through these. I'm super excited about it. They're right here, so we'll go through them one at a time. But before we get into the video, I do want to talk about this. So, due to the coronavirus, I'm not able to go pop hunting. Like, EB Games has now closed in Canada. Hot Topic is closed. Um, Walmart's open, but they have literally no pops. Um, plus, I don't really want to go out unless it's for groceries or something like that, or Pokemon cards. Um, so, I'm trying to stay in. And the thing is, so, like, I go from the house, to here and that's pretty much it. I don't really get in contact with any people or anything like that So I'm trying to do as many fun videos as I possibly can at the studio um, So if we're not doing as many pop hunts now, I mean I hope you guys understand we're kind of trying to keep it safe So that way I don't get sick and I can still um, you know pump out normal videos Just you know more so sit down ones for the foreseeable future I actually don't know when we're gonna be able to do pop hunting if you guys have any fun ideas for videos that we can do here in the office whether it be like online pop hunting or something like like that guys you know where we can do it in the comfort of our studio here at the table um you know somewhere around the office or something like that even at home in the backyard i don't know let me know in the comment section below because i'd love to hear your guys' suggestions because i'm gonna run out of you know things to do at the office eventually so i want to get some uh you know creative ideas from you guys but Let's get into the first pop now. Okay guys, so the first one that we have here is Batman Merciless. Now this one might not be my favorite. It's a really, really great Batman one. There's just so many to choose from that I didn't know which one to pick. So all of the 80th anniversary Batman ones are here. Like I've got so many of them. Like we've got Red Rain. Um, this one here is Dawnbreaker. This one's the 1989 one. There's the Chrome one. So anyways guys, there's so many of them, but I thought this one was the most unique or at least the most different um, that I've seen on the Batman Pops in a long time. It's the Batman Merciless one. Like I had said, this is the Hot Topic exclusive version. A pretty, pretty weird figure. It's metallic as well. It looks almost like a samurai um, with the armor and stuff like that. So that's why I put this one on the list just because I love Batman Pops. And I think the 80th anniversary is a really great set. After that, I'm looking at this one here. I think we'll do this. By the way, guys, these aren't in any order. This is just kind of like my 10 favorites right now. Um, this one here is Super Grover. Now, this is from the Sesame Street line. I love these ones. I wish I got all of them. Right now, I have this one, Cookie Monster, Bert, Ernie, and then Snuffleupagus and Big Bird. Um, so I really should get more of these ones. I think these ones are great. I'm a big fan of these ones. I used to watch Sesame Street when I was younger um, and still do sometimes when it's on for random, you know, random occasions for a little nostalgia nostalgic moment I'll pop on a uh, you know Sesame Street real quick but yes I am a big fan of this one Super Grover is a really great one I don't have normal Grover wait I do have the Cookie Monster and Flocked Cookie Monster so I probably have more of them they're just hidden behind the ones that I'm looking at up in the top there um, but yeah Super Grover's probably got to be one of my favorites I love the detail on this one I especially like the way they gave him his cape there and he's got his arms out like he's about to fly um, and then you guys can even see on the back there there's the Super Grover um, actual puppet there. Now, a little fun fact about this one is actually this was one of the first videos we filmed on the channel. It was a Cookie Monster and Super Grover pop review. So it's kind of, you know, a little thing that I've had for a long time in the collection and it's been one of those ones that I've always kept in the collection because I'm a big fan of Sesame Street. But yeah, this one had to go in the top 10 you know, just because I love Sesame Street and Grover. All right, guys, so next up we have, let's do this one here. This is a newer one. This actually just came out. I think it was this month or last month, um, but this is Milton the Toaster. Now, I put this one on the list. This is the Pop-Tarts ad icon, if you guys aren't aware. Um, this one's just so different, and I actually forgot that Milton the Toaster was a thing till the pop came out again. I remember seeing it probably a long time ago. I think they used to use it. Um, I don't remember when they used it, but I've for sure seen it before. Like, when I used to search up, like, different ad icons that Funko could make, if you just type in on Google, um, like food mascots or like uh, company mascots and stuff like that, Milton the Toaster would always come up and I'd be like, that would be a great figure to make. So Funko finally did and I love this thing. I also saw that they are coming out with a Fanta ad icon because I remember Brian Mariotti talked about it in an interview at Toy Fair. And then he also, it was kind of hinted in the Funko live stream, the Funko um, Funcast live stream for Emerald City Comic Con and Virtual Con. It was actually in the background. If I can find a photo of that, I'll pop it on the screen it's very blurry but uh, it does prove that it is coming soon so anyways I wonder if they put it back there as like a little like hint to something coming in the future um, but yeah I really like that they put the toasters um, popping up you know with the actual pop tarts up there um, but yeah overall a really great one it's very different as well like I had mentioned he's pretty much just the shape of a toaster 
um, which, you know, does make it look a lot better. If they try to make a body for this thing, I don't know how they do it, but uh, I am a big fan of this figure, is what I'm trying to say. This next one here is kind of a weird one. Um, this is part of my Scooby-Doo set. Now, also, guys, in the background here, there are a couple missing, so if you guys can tell which ones are missing, um, or if you guys have been watching for a while, you'd probably notice which ones are missing, like here and up top there. I don't know if you guys can actually see up top, um, but there is a couple missing in the background. But this one right here is the Scooby-Doo. Now, not just any Scooby-Doo, the Flocked Blue Scooby-Doo. Now, this one was actually given to me by, I believe it was Fair Game Toy Store. They were nice enough to send over a box, you know, for me to, you know, give them a shout out and stuff like that. And um, they sent over this one, which is an amazing character. They also have this one. There's a green version of it and then a pink one as well. Pink slash purple-ish. No, it's pink because I actually have a purple one um, that was exclusive to Box Lunch. But yeah, so pretty much for this one, it's every Scooby-Doo figure. So it's one of those ones where it's like, again, with the Batman, I didn't know which one I should pick. So I just picked this Scooby-Doo because it's the rarest one out of all the Scooby-Doo's that I have. Um, this one here might be worth like a hundred bucks, 80 bucks. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I would never sell it, but um, it is cool to know that this one is worth a little bit more. This one here is from San Diego 2017, 2,500 pieces. And they actually had like a pop-up shop outside of San Diego Comic-Con because if you guys don't know, San Diego Comic-Con besides the convention is a lot of stuff outside around the convention. So Funko had a pop-up shop outside of the convention. You could actually purchase this one there. And it was a bunch of like the Hanna-Barbera Saturday morning cartoon stuff. and. Uh, this was one of them. So anyways, a really cool figure, a weird kind of story to it and how it wasn't exclusive to San Diego Comic-Con, but it was exclusive to San Diego Comic-Con, just outside of the convention. But yeah, I put it on the list. I love Scooby-Doo and this figure looks great. Okay, let's do this one next. This one right here, um, if you guys don't know, I'm a big fan of SpongeBob. And this one right here, SpongeBob at the Bubble Bowl. I mean, you can't get much better than this. This one was the Hot Topic exclusive that came out, I think it was probably a couple months ago. I'm not exactly sure when, um, but it was probably a couple months ago. Anyway, so this one's really cool. I love the detail on this one. Um, this one's probably my favorite SpongeBob out of all of them. I think maybe SpongeBob with Gary um, is a close second, um, but this one's probably my favorite because of the episode. Episode, and then they go to the bubble bowl and you know they pop up and you think they're not gonna do very well And then when they get there they blow their fins out of the water and they knock their fins off I tried to do a knock your socks off joke. It didn't work Anyways, doesn't matter. I think it's got some great detail to it They made the suit look pretty much exactly the same as it does in the show and I mean come on they're singing sweet victory It's a great figure. Um, they also did this one at the Super Bowl that year as well um, which was really really awesome. So anyways I don't know, I'm a big fan of this one. You guys know I'm a big fan of SpongeBob as well, and I had to put it on the list. Okay, I'm trying to think of which one to do next here. I think we'll do this one, because this one's kind of a random one to put on here, but there's a reason that I have it on here. Um, it's Quisp, which was one of the serial ad icons. So this is a Quaker ad icon. Um, I've actually never had Quisp, but I have a reason to like this one. Um, it's such an odd ad icon, and it's one of those ones where I, I can't even find Quisp cereal. I don't think they make it anymore. I don't think they've made it. I don't think they made it. This is weird. I don't think I was alive when they actually made the cereal. But um, I am a big fan of the ad icon because of how he looks and I do want to show you guys something here So this figure looks normal, right? But then watch this Yes, he does spin on the top and if I'm not mistaken He actually did in like commercials and stuff as well. I think that's why he spins because there was also Because um, other than that I can't really think of a reason why you would make it spin because if he wasn't in commercials Then it wouldn't ever spin on the box, right? So I'm pretty sure that's what it was But yeah, so there was quake and quisp in this set and um, they came in a two-pack on the Funko shop You know what I mean? It was just like a bundle. They didn't actually come with two of them in one box um, But the bundle did come with both of these so yeah, this is why I'm a big fan of this one it's got like a little added bonus to it and a feature you know that not too many pops have which is like a spinning propeller on top of its head that is one that i got to be careful make sure i don't break it um, but i usually keep it in box anyway so yeah it's such a weird character um, but I had to put it on here because it's an ad icon. I like ad icons. And then it's got that extra little bonus as well with the spin. This next one here is a great one. If you guys know this one, I dressed up as him for Halloween just because why not? Some people say I look like him too. Um, but this one right here is Waldo. Now, not just any Waldo from Where's Waldo or Where's Wally if you're from the UK. This is Waldo and Woof. So I figured put the one with Woof in here because that's the better one of the two because you're just getting another character in there as well. The only thing I'm sad about is you can't see Woof in the box because of the Barnes & Noble sticker. But if you turn it, you can see him there. He's a little guy down there. Um, still a really, really great one. And they even give you a uh, Where's Waldo puzzle on the back as well. And I did find him. It's the same puzzle on both. Too bad they didn't do different ones, but I get it. It's just the backing for the pops. Um, but that is a really, really great one. When I was younger, I was a big fan of the Waldo books. That would be the, okay, I'm that kind of kid. Let's just say this. If we went to the library during school, I would check out a Where's Waldo book. And then the teacher would be like, are you sure you're going to be able to read that all week? And then I'd be like, yep, I can, whatever. I don't know. Anyways, point was, was that I'd be the kid to pick out like a Guinness World Record 
book or a Where's Waldo book instead of like, you know, a Geronimo Stilton chapter book. Anyways, doesn't matter. Um, but actually, now that I say that, Geronimo Stilton would be great pops to make. They still make books, too. I saw some at Coles and Chapters a while ago. So anyways, that would be a cool pop, Funko, if you're if you're watching. I don't know. Um, but anyways, overall, really great figure, and I'm glad I have this one for the set. All right, guys, we're getting down to the top three here. Now, again, like I said, none of these are in any order. I'm just kind of showing them as we go here because this is kind of how the pile was set up after I moved them over from the table. So let's go into this one next. This one's probably... It's for sure been in my top 10 last time, but I had to put them in it again just because of which pop it is. This is the Atom Bomb from Garbage Pail Kids. Now, I picked this one. There are three different versions of it. There's the metallic one, which is this one right here, exclusive to Toy Tokyo and New York Comic Con back in 2018. There was the Glow in the Dark Chase one, as well as the normal one, which is just this figure, but it's the um, non-metallic one. So, I picked this one just because it looks most like Atom Bomb, but then it's also the metallic version as well. So, really, just metallic is just a nice bonus to the figure. Um, um, I did collect Garbage Pail Kids. I had the entire 2015 set. That's when I started to collect them. And then when they came up with the pops, I picked those up. And then finally, I uh, I don't know. I just have always liked this figure. Um, it's been one of those ones that I've, it's been, uh, you know, kind of nice to have in the collection because I do have all of these guys now. So I've got every single one of these, including the chases, like I had mentioned. Um, and they're just so weird and different. So I'm glad they did make them. And this kind of is like the ad icon for Garbage Pail Kids, even though he's just the figure. When you see Atom Bomb, you think of Garbage Pail Kids. Um, so anyways, they have this one, Ghastly Ashley, Clark Kent, and Beastie Boyd. So I have the whole set, but I think this one's got to be my favorite out of all of them. All right, we're down to the last two. Let's do the big one first and then I'll do the other one. So this one right here is Woody on RC. Now this one here has a lot of detail to it. Um, I remember they were supposed to make this one a long time ago in the catalog on um, one of the older Funko catalogs. I don't know which year it was maybe like 2013, 2012. It was supposed to come out and then it never did and then finally they did it um, last year I think it was if I'm not mistaken. It ooh, 2018 they did this. So here it is right here guys if you guys want to see it. There's the Woody with RC. Um, the wheels also on this are kind of squishy as well. They're kind of rubbery. Um, it, this is one of those ones where I saw the Amazon reviews on it and um, one of the reviews was I bought this for my grandson and it didn't roll so I returned it. Um, but I mean come on it's a Funko Pop. I know some people don't know um, but for some collectors I'd be like well I and here's a question for you guys. Would you like um, uh, Pop Rides to roll? Um, me personally, I don't know. I've said I've always wanted them to roll, but then what if they fall off shelves and stuff like that? And then when it starts to roll it might turn more into a toy instead of a collectible. Um, I don't know, but let me know what your guys' opinion in the comment section below. I'd like to know that because I've been wondering that for a while, if I'd like them to roll, but I don't think I do. I don't know. Anyways, let me know, guys. But yeah, a really, really great figure. Um, RC, this is the only way you can get RC because really, how else would you do it? Because the pop ride, it, at that point, it would just be a pop kind of like cars and they probably would have made a smaller one. So I'm glad they made it at a pop ride version though because then we're getting it in the proper like proportion sizes where Woody's sitting on top of RC, but it would have been really cool if they also had Buzz strapped on with the rocket on the back. Okay guys, now last but not least, we have an Icon Pop. This is one that I've been a pretty big fan of. It's a classic Icon, if you guys know the set, and it is the MTV Moon Person. Um, this just has a lot of detail to it and overall a really great character. Um, it's because it's also the award for the MTV Music Television Awards. Um, so it's really, really cool that they did make this one. You guys can see a better kind of like real life version of it on the back there. So the head's just a little bit smaller and that's pretty much it for the Popified version. I mean, the head's just a lot bigger. Too bad they didn't make a chrome version of this because that's pretty much like I said what this looks like right there um, if they do make a chrome version though I'd be super excited about that I also saw rumors that they might be making a gold one I don't know how true that is but if they did that'd be really cool I'd totally pick that up I haven't really been getting too many icons recently because there hasn't been too many new ones coming out um, plus like I said I can't really go to the states to do pop hunting and stuff like that because the borders are closed now so that's kind of tough but guys I think that's gonna do it for today I hope you guys enjoyed let me know your favorite Funko Pops in the comment section below because there are so many different ones and this is kind of like my list and as you guys can probably tell I like the brighter figures the ones that are kind of like um I don't know not so not, not so much kiddish but like um they have more colors to them like sometimes they're just like people like some people are big fans of like oranges the new black ones and stuff like that but those ones are kind of just like people standing there. You guys know what I mean? I like the Scooby-Doo, the Waldo, Spongebob, Quisp. They all have like actions to them and they can do things and stuff like that. I don't know. Overall, these are my favorite ones though. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been an episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow.